Hey guys, my name is Ed Newman, and I'm going to show you today how to use the mailer effectively in my lead gen secret. Uh, normally I use a Yeti microphone, but for some reason it stopped working, so I'm now using this headset. Not sure how good that's going to work. Works better than the microphone built into my laptop, though. All right, let's move on. My name is Ed Newman. I've been a full-time email marketer since 2012. In 2015, I launched a product with Matt Basek called my top 1107 subject lines. These were my subject lines ranked in order of opens from over 3,000 mailings. If you stay around to the end of this video, I will give you 27 of these top subjects, top subject lines from that product. In my 35 days of being in M my lead gen secret, I've gotten eight MLGS signups uh, from using the internal mailer and six outside affiliate sales totaling $346 using the internal mailer. So as you can see, the internal mailer works. So let me just show you those two things I was just saying. See, so here's my pro my Warrior product from uh, 2015. So I've actually been doing email, like I said, since 2012. And here's the uh, actual product itself. There's me and Matt Basak. Okay. Back to the show. The MLGS features no autoresponder costs, no hosting costs, no traffic costs, no solo ads costs. Of course, if you're already in MLGS, which most of you are watching this are, you already know all of that. My Lead Gen Secret gives you a mailer to email all of your leads daily. Make sure to do that. The reason why most people are failing is they mail a couple times in the beginning when their leads are small, like 100, 200, 300. They don't get any sales and they stop mailing. As a lot of people have posted in our group, uh, most of the sales start coming when you get up to the thousands. In fact, uh, 10,000 is probably a good uh, target to shoot for. When you're mailing to 10,000 leads every day, you're going to get some action. When you're mailing to a couple hundred a day, you're not going to get all that much action. doesn't mean don't do it. There's been plenty of people that have gotten uh, sales and uh, people to sign up through even uh, the first day. Well, I sponsored someone yesterday, and today I saw him post that he already got his first uh, sign up. And he used the mailer. Okay, uh, there are some tactics when using a built-in mailer that are different than when using something like AWeber or GetResponse. And that mainly has to do with the fact that the leads aren't going to be as responsive. They're getting a lot of emails. They're probably not going to remember you. So you got to do things that make yourself stick out. I'm going to show you two types of emails. Mailing to the uh, MLGS platform itself to get referrals and mailing to affiliate offers. There's only one slight difference between them. And I'll show you some tips on how to use the mailer itself. Here's some important facts, though. The stats in MLGS are not accurate. Don't depend on them. Don't use them to judge the effectiveness of subject lines or bodies or anything else. Uh, if you put a tag in your emails that indicate specifically which email it comes from, and you get sign-ups either in like a warrior offer or in the uh, MLGS program itself, then you can find out which specific email is working well. Don't use the stats. Many emails set in MLGS will get zero clicks. Yes, even though the thing says you get 100 clicks, 10 clicks, whatever, most of the time you get zero clicks. And you can see that if you send to offers like ClickBank offers or Warrior Plus. Don't let that get you down. The, the point of this thing is to build your list. you got to keep building it, building it, building it, and mailing every day. Eventually you're going to get sales. It's just not going to happen every day. The MLGS leads are much less responsive than a personal email list. I covered that kind of before. These people don't know you, especially when you first start, and they get lots of emails, more than your average person. That doesn't mean you won't get sales, just not as often. This is much cheaper than getting traffic from any other place. So, you know, the trade-off is you're not going to get as much action. However, you're going to get way, way more action than uh, if you just don't do anything. It's more important to spend two minutes on an email and send it every day than spending ten minutes, oh, I can't even spell minutes, on an email and mailing it every other day. That's, ah, forget it. Uh, the longer you spend, the less likely you are to do it every day. So you, you got to just make sure to do it every day. Even if you just copy uh, a mail that you sent like two days ago. I wouldn't copy the one you sent just yesterday, but go back and copy other emails and just resend them. If you don't have time to write an email, then just do that. Best to include your photo and best to include uh, your email address and your Facebook contact info. These people cannot reply to the emails to contact you. So if people re responding re reply to a no not reply address like the one is, then they're going to just not be able to get in contact. You probably won't go any further. Well, if you give it your, your contact info, they'll move on to the next step. 
as I said before, copy your own existing mails as much as possible and just edit them. Now, I do this in every autoresponder. Get response, constant contact, AWeber. I never write an email from scratch. There's a lot of work when you uh, create an email from scratch. There's a lot less work in uh, the mailer and my lead gen system, but it's just a general principle to use. If you just copy existing uh, formats that you know are good, you don't have to worry about a lot of things that you're going to have to worry about when you create an email from scratch. Resend previous emails often. You can make subject line changes to make them look different. Change the source tag on the current to the current date so you know exactly which email a sale comes from. I'll show you an example of that later. The subject line is the most important part of the email. It gets them to open the email. And also the first 80 to 100 characters of the body are important since most people see them before opening the mail. Again, you want to get somebody to open a mail. If they're just scanning through their email inbox and they see something and they don't open it, then you're never going to get any action from them. At least if they get the email open, they may do something. You need to stick out and grab their attention. All right, so let's go in and take a look at the mailer. You get to the mailer by going to the mailing system. You can mail every 23 hours, not every 24 hours, every 23 hours. Here's an important thing. If you go scroll down to the bottom and it says... Uh, you still have some time to mail. Let's say it says you have two minutes to mail, two minutes to wait before you can send out your next mail. Do not start writing your email here. What's going to happen is when that counter gets down to zero, it's going to refresh the page and you'll lose everything you've typed already. So wait till the counter counts down to zero and then make your email. Okay. Now in this case, we're going to create one from scratch just so you can see how to do it. And I can show you links and stuff like that, which won't be as easy to show if I'm editing existing ones. So you want to click Select All. Get all your contacts over here. Do not just uh, send to your last things, your last contacts. You want to send, probably sending from your best, your, your own name is best. Now this is where you, where you should be doing this thing. Uh, like I said, if you just want to copy an existing one, which you should be doing all the time, just take that, click that, and click Load. Now... And that what that does is it populates the whole thing in here. And if you want to make some changes, like changing the subject line, you can just come back and do that here. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm not going to use anything re really from this. Basically, just going to delete everything. Because I want to show you how to create one from scratch. I'm not telling you to do this every time. You don't want, you're not going to want to do this. You're going to, especially when you have stuff at the bottom that has your picture and stuff like that. Just copy the previous email. Don't go through and do that every time. All right, I just wrote up a quick email. This is what's called a blind copy, a blind swipe, which means they have no idea what it is that uh, this is about. And they're basically, an e the purpose of an email is to sell the click. It's not to sell the product. So what we're trying to get them to go in here and click on the thing and get whatever page you're sending them to do the uh, work for you. All right, so I'm just going to copy and paste this here. And we're going to go. Now, you would be typing this, but just to save time, I'm copying and pasting this. See, this is just the thing saying, have you heard the news? This is going viral. And it's just Tom told Janet that it uh... Okay, that's the basic of the basis of the email right there. Put that in there. All right. Now, usually what I like to do is I like to use... Arial font size 16. 16 sometimes is a little big. You choose 14 or 16. Okay, now that you got your thing in there, here's how you do a hyperlink. This is the, the link that you're going to send to. Now, if you're just, uh, this is a good funnel to use right here. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Now you can see. The uh, source tag at the end where it's an ampersand SRC equals, and I use MLGS for my lead gen system, and I put today's date in, 0904.19. This is the page that I send them to. Okay. So the way you do that is you're going to take all of this stuff here, going to bold it, click on the link icon, Paste your URL on there. Very important, make sure there's no space at the end and no space at the beginning and that this is set to either HTTPS or HTTP. Most of the time this will set automatically, but if you're using some weird links, I've seen it default to other. So 
So make sure this is set to whatever your link is. And again, make sure there's no space in here. If you put a space in here, the link's not going to work. Very common problem. Okay, I just had that in there as a note. That's not what we're actually sending out there. Okay, now what we're going to do is... There's a difference between hitting Enter, which I just did, and hitting Shift and Enter. I think there was a difference, wasn't there? I can't really see. There should be a difference. Yes. See, there's a less of a space if you hit Shift and Enter. So if you want the lines to be close together, you want to hit Shift and Enter, not just Enter. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to put my picture down here. And the way you put a picture is you go up here and you click on the picture icon. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they allow you to upload a picture. So you have to have your picture somewhere. Luckily, I have my picture somewhere. If you don't, well, if you're on my team, I will be glad to host it for you. And I just noticed that you know, I ended up with a space there at the back. I'm not going to worry about it now. I'm going to worry about when I paste it in there, though. That's a common thing of where that space at the end can come from and can cause trouble. Okay, it looks like it didn't copy the space after all. But again, you still want to always make it's always a good idea to make sure there's no space in the beginning, no space at the end. I think I interrupted myself before when I was saw that space. If you're on my team, I'll be glad to host pictures for you. Just uh, send me a message. Uh, if not, there's plenty of free hosting sites out there that'll host pictures for you. Okay, so there's my picture there. And then what we want to do is come down here and we want to put some contact information because if you re pay a reply to the email you're not going to get the message and they're just going to be sitting there waiting for a message from you and never get it and that's the end it'll never go any further okay you can see the font we pasted in now is not the right font so I need to go back here and change this to Arial you could just change the whole document again but Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our, our Messenger, Facebook Messenger link in here where you want to put your email address and just tell them, do not reply to this email, I will not receive it. Again, this is should be a single space. All right, and the link we're going to use for your thing, it's this link here. We'll show you. You're going to highlight that, paste that in here. Again, make sure there's no, there's no space at the end, no space at the beginning. It's probably not even going to put a space in the beginning because it's stripping out the HTTP and the HTTPS and moving it over anyway. But just in general, anytime you're posting a URL anywhere, it's good to check to make sure it doesn't have a space in the beginning or the end. Uh, all right, let me show you where to get that link from. Actually, I'm not going to show you where to get the link. I'm going to show you where to get your name from. Your name is just, uh, if you click on your own profile here, you probably know what your name is, but some people have some weird names that so they might not. You can see that my my profile is facebook.com slash ed08724. Well, that ed08724 is the uh, uh, Facebook ID or Facebook username, and that's, that's what you're putting in that... Uh, link. So you're, you're going to put https colon slash slash www.facebook.com slash messages slash t slash you're going to change this ED08724. I'll put this whole link in the description so you can just copy it as opposed to having to type all of that in. I think we're done with the email. Okay, let me go back to that one. Now we're ready to send this email. Now this is an email we're sending to promote uh, the MLGS uh, system itself. You want to set perfect timing. Perfect timing just sends it at uh, like the same time of day depending on what the time zone is and stuff like that. Most people found that using that works the best, so go ahead and use that. And then you're going to click send email. Wait for the thing to finish. Okay, so you can see you got 23 hours. So it's not 24 hours, it's 23 hours. That gives you time to get in there and get the, the email set up for your next uh, 
uh, emailing before the 24 hours are up. Again, you gotta wait, you gotta wait to after 23 hours before you start typing anything in. But it gives you an hour to get it back if you want to send it at the same time every day, or if you want to start creeping up in time, you know, moving it back. If you use the perfect timing, that's probably not all that important. But the key thing is now, you just sent this email out and you got 23 hours left before you can send your, your next email. So what you do is you pick up your phone and you say, okay, Google, set alarm for 23 hours or whatever Siri, uh, Siri has something, I'm sure, similar. Actually, I could just hear in the background that they just set my alarm for, didn't even know my phone was close enough to do that. But it's very important. If you set that alarm, then you're not going to forget to send an email out. Okay, so all right, we're done with that. Let me just get out of here and come back. Oh, oh I got that wrong. Okay, so now the only difference, uh, whoop, wrong screen. The only difference between sending um, an email, uh, like a blind email like this, it isn't talking about the mail. If you're talking about the mail or you're talking about affiliate offer, then yeah, the, the part of the swipe is going to change also. But what you want to do is if you're sending an email to an affiliate offer, you want to put the, the email in just like we did for the other email. But at the bottom, you want to put your picture and everything. At the bottom, you want to put a PS that says something to the effect of, Want to be able to send emails like this every day and earn? Then click here. And then you want you want to take this thing and you want, just want to hyperlink that to be send it to your page. And again, use that same date code here. This way, even though you're promoting an affiliate offer, you still have a chance to get them to sign up to uh, my lead gen system. In the 36 days I've been in MLGS, I built a team of 248, which has paid me a $1,798, of which 893 is monthly recurring income built a list of 8,200 subscribers that I can email daily or export. So you can see, this is all I've made with this system in 36 days. So it's definitely worth your time. And this is going to go up every month. As you know, more and more people come into the system and they build their downline. So it's a very effective program and the mailer does work. If you aren't already in my lead gen system, you can see my bonuses and join at ednewman.com slash mailer. Or click the link in the below video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to get updates and future MLGS tips and tricks. Click the bell icon so you get an email notification. Some tips I will share with everyone and some are just going to be going to people that are signed up directly under me. To get the 27 top subject lines I talked about in the beginning and you've made it all the way to the end, just go to ed-newman.com slash my27. I'm obviously not going to post this link in the description because then people would just go there without watching through the whole video. Alright, thanks for watching.